Hi guys and welcome back to Dream Queen. Um, Perla here. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions as to what it is, what I do, um, how I do it, how I got the songs that I use, who I follow, who I recommend, everything is okay. <laughs> um, description. So take a look for links and stuff like that. Um, we're doing cancer. Whew. Centered. The song I got for you guys um, is Broken String by... You okay, puppy? No, mama. It's a girl. It's the girl that's here. Um, what is it? Jane Morrison or is it James? See, I wrote and I don't even know who I wrote. Excuse me, um, Nelly Furtado sings it. So I think it is James. I don't know. It'll be in the description. Oh, hey, buddy. I just walked in, my dog, my male dog. The verse, um, you okay, puppy? The verse that um, spoke out to me is, <laughs> you can't feel anything that your heart don't want to feel. <sighs> Give me a second. Let me close the door. Let's see, open the door. Go. Go open the door. I have to finish these two videos and then we'll go outside, okay? Hold on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back. Anyways, yes. Yeah, they're both in the room with me, so it's going to be a little crazy. Um, so what I'm sensing is the feminine energy are, when it comes to triggers and things that are trying to come up to show you something, you're like realizing it, and you're not allowing it to hurt you. And again, these videos can be if you're a cancer or if your person is a cancer. The masculine energy is feeling the hurt of the distance between his DM and his DF. And that's probably why you're being triggered at the moment. So, It's it's like you're okay. The feminine are okay because they're realizing that something's just come up to either remind you how far you've come or something needs to be healed in that area. And they're okay with that. But the masculines are like their soul is just crying out to them, like triggering them to feel the pain that you have felt. Now, is this being communicated to you? I don't think so. Um, but so regardless of what they try to do to distract themselves from the pain, of not having you near them, nothing works. So it's like so overpowering the pain and the sadness because their soul is coming through. It's like, What did I do? So logically they're thinking, what did I do? How could I have let her go? And that has been going on for a while. That's not new. But what is beautiful is 
they're working through that and coming to the acceptance of it and then moving forward to start some type of line of communication. For some, it's going to be um, simple as a text or an email, um, something small. But from that small gesture, from that small hi, It could be that, you, let's say you have a social media and he follows you and you don't know and then he's gonna like one of your pictures and then you're gonna be like, oh shoot. And then he's gonna like another one of your pictures and then he's gonna start commenting on your pictures. And, or you're gonna have like a new follower or a new person and they're gonna like and comment and like and comment and then eventually send you like a private message. Like if, it's, if they're under like a false name, like, hey, by the way, it's so and so. I didn't know how to approach you because of the way that I acted. And once that is initiated, like that small communication, it's going to be non stop and it's just going to continue on growing. Where he, he is going to feel. For the first time, he is going to accept the feeling, sorry, I'm sitting on my bowl, of feeling whole, feeling like his heart is complete. That's beautiful. Ah. A lot are coming out of that, um, blaming themselves. Um, I feel like some of them were stuck in that for a while. Like, if I come towards her, like, how could I ever expect her to believe what I'm saying, to believe me now? Because regardless of what has gone on, that these are two people that have been connected very strongly, um, especially, like, in the emotional sense. It's like he will think of you or you will think of him and it's like you feel their presence like right there and the same thing like they feel you it's beautiful he was gonna make me cry today it was like all emotional i should have known water signs i guess um <laughs> it's like it's beautiful because it's like as he's dealing with with the pain of missing you, he is also being like shown and like revealed to him how much you actually mean um, to his heart, like to his soul. So it's actually like, and then he just <laughs> he wants to rush in because he wants that now. Um, But it's just a little doubt, like, if I approach her, is she going to listen to what I have to say? <laughs> a lot of the his healing process with his heart is coming in from like spiritual help. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's starting to look into like either zodiac signs or other explanation for things because he's being pushed in a spiritual way like to look for things. Understanding that he, regardless of what, what he does or says, 
um, in regards, like I say, to other people, that the only person that he can feel one with is you. And some of them are still stuck at that moment where they chose to let you go. And they're reevaluating why they did that. And some of them honestly did it because they knew that they weren't at that place in their life, at that moment. They rather let you go than hurt you more. And some of them are just really trying to figure out why they let you go to begin with. Um, I feel like those that it wasn't in regards to like knowing that they would hurt you if they continue with you at the moment, um, those other ones were more of influence from other people. And now they see how following the crowd and following what other people had to say didn't help them. But actually, it's like their entire life was like turned upside down like unraveled like they were having a really hard time and like grasping the reality of life without you I'm gonna do at least the little miniature ones. Those are like the little ones to show what they are. I just had them facing the other way, which I never faced them. That's what I feel like. That's Cancer's energy. Both feminine and masculine. The feminine are healing whatever needs to finish healing. Or seeing how far they've come, how much they've grown, and the males are just understanding and realizing that now they're ready so they can move forward. And those that were following other people's advice, um, realizing how wrong they were from for listening to other people's opinion, especially because those people they gave them the opinion have never felt anything close to what he feels for you. So we're pulling a card for his energy. The energy of the connection in his eyes and then the energy of him towards you it's actually quite beautiful beautiful um so we have the three of pentacles and they all came all in reverse which doesn't really matter so i don't read them the same way um so this is what the three of pentacles looks like right and then the reverse it looks like this so what I'm sensing with this card is <laughs> the for those that ended the or put a pause i should say to the relationship or communication at, at a moment a given moment was because they knew that there was something in them that they had to work on as to not to drag you down with them and for those that follow other people they know like how wrong they were for listening because regardless of like which way you turn things the two of you always are connected are always one whether in communication or not because that presence of each other is actually quite beautiful then the four of swords came out which also came out in the reverse which to me is <laughs> represents like breakthrough so it's like 
what needed to be dealt with and the hard matter has been dealt with. So regardless of what our future has, whatever challenges our future has, we can make it through because we made it to the hardest part. And then the hermit, <laughs> as to how they view you. And it came out in the reverse, which I thought was kind of <laughs> pretty. So this is what the picture looks like. So this is a sloth. Sloth sleep um, a lot. And they sleep upside down. He has a star in his sweater, which I think is beautiful. So, and he's smiling, she's smiling, he's smiling, whatever you want to call it. Look, look how pretty that picture is. So coming in the reverse like this, it's like, <laughs> it's like, okay, here's how our sloth normally sleeps. I'm sleeping, I'm working on me, I'm getting my rest, I'm getting my everything. And now it's like, okay, I'm done sleeping, I'm awake. Let's, and it's like, I feel like when that when they start the communication and stuff like that, it's like they're trying to see if you're open or if you're awake to the possibility of starting something up again. And the minute they initiate that um, communication, they right away sense your energy that you are. You're wide awake. Um, and they realize that you know, even though they messed up, <sighs> your heart will still receive theirs because theirs is more than for yours. <sighs> I know today's, like the past few videos have been short, but they have been very, very, very strong on um, the energies. Well, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.